Do you want to know how you can use Copilot in Microsoft Word to generate new content, improve content, and query existing documents? I'm the Productivity Coach, and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Riddart, the Productivity Coach, and I work at Microsoft as part of our Modern Work AI and Ecosystem team. And it kind of escaped your notice that Copilot for Microsoft 365 has launched as of the 1st of November, and you'll see loads and loads of content. Um, I've already produced a video showing you how I use uh, Copilot in Microsoft Teams meetings or after meetings to do all my catch up, like generate meeting notes, actions, query the meeting, and things like this. So if you haven't seen that, then hop over and look at that video because it is a great watch and it's a great way to get super productive with Copilot really quickly. But where we move to the next level is actually using the power of Copilot to generate brand new content or improve existing content. And today I'm going to focus on how we can do that in Microsoft Word. So really, really easy. Uh, let's have a look. We'll go across here. So one of the things I want to point out before we even get started is there's a brilliant adoption site, which is adoption.microsoft.com forward slash copilot. And if you head over here, there's loads of great content on how you can prepare for copilot, learn how it works. There's a really vibrant community where you can go and uh, speak with other people and things like this. But this comprehensive guide's got different resources by roles, how you can use it for you, for your team. But there's a great prompt skills guide here. And there's this handout, which is ingredients of a prompt. Because the more, the, the more effort you put into your prompt, the better the result comes out the other end. So here, we can see uh, we've got this, this great visual here, this colored visual in the middle that shows you what a brilliant prompt should look like. So I'm gonna just zoom in a bit here. Okay, and it's made up of like four sections. So one is the goal, what do you want? So I want you to generate three to five bullet points. Why, what's the context? Why do you need it and who's involved? So I want this to prepare me for a meeting with this client to discuss their brand campaign. Now, you've, those are the two basic ones. We can improve that if we give it a source. So what information should it use? So here we're saying focus on email and Teams chats since June. And then the expectations. So please use simple language so I can get up to speed quickly. So the more effort you put into your prompt, the more chance of success that Copilot has. So it's like if you had a new employee and you said, just go and create this thing, they might not be able to do this. And the more information you give, the better. Now, one of the other sections, which is great on this adoption document here, is this Copilot in App section. So I'm looking at Copilot in Word today. So let's have a look and see what advice they've got there. And what they do here is tell you how you can use Copilot within this, and there'll be loads of development that happens on this over time. But here they've kind of split it into four different buckets of types of actions. So we can create new stuff, edit stuff, catch up on uh, very complex things or ask questions. So I'm gonna start off with creating brand new content from scratch. So you've got that uh, learn more or you hit try and word and it'll open word for you. So let's start off with create and uh, show you because quite often when you've got that blank page, that's really where a big struggle um, is to get started. And once you've got started, you can improve and refine it. So here I've got Microsoft Word and you can see the first thing that's uh, happened is Copilot's popped up here. So let's really construct a great prompt. So as an HR specialist, so I'm telling it the role that it needs to, um, it needs to fulfill. So as an HR specialist, create a guidance document for managers um, about, um, about how to run an effective annual review. Okay, um, run an effective annual review with employees. Okay, so I've given it the information. Let's help it out here. So remember to not just uh, focus on historic performance, but also about development um, and future goals. And then uh, lastly, produce a checklist for managers um, that they can use 
to ensure they've hit all the points in their review. Okay, so a lot of information in there that we've got, but should really help Copilot to produce um, a really great document. Okay, and things like that checklist, you know, those are the things that we want. We want to make it easy for people. So, uh, okay, let's let's go with this, and it will take uh, it'll take a few seconds. It doesn't just appear, and if you use any other AI services, you can see as it works here. But we're starting off with an introduction. We've got this title here, Review with Employees, a guide for HR specialists and managers. Okay, and then we've got a section here on preparing. So what are the things that they should be doing in advance? Then how do they conduct the review? Um, so all of those kind of things like avoid making judgments, assumptions, you know, schedule meeting in advance, all of that stuff. Then what should we do afterwards? So follow up on the annual review. Um, and then here specifically is this thing that I asked for. I asked for this, oops, what's in there? Uh, a checklist for managers. So this is it's quite a long checklist. Now, um, if we wanted to be super comprehensive, uh, then we can ask them to do all of these things. But let's make that a little bit shorter. So um, when, when we look through all of these, we can make a refinement here before we kind of commit to it. So what I'm going to say is limit the checklist for managers to the most important 10 items. And we'll just hit the arrow to go. And now what it's going to do is, re is review what it's already done and it's going to regenerate that document again. Okay, so we're going to go through that. And the, the reason why it regenerates the whole thing is in my one there, I just asked about one section, but I might want to review the whole tone of the document. So that's why it goes through um, and it does that. But you can see here, it's the same as we've got, uh, you know, the same kind of structures we had already. But now we've got this checklist here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're all there. Again, I can review that, and then if I click keep it, that's now kind of locked into the document. So uh, it's a great way to um, kind of just create that and avoid that blank page thing where you know, I don't really know where to start, because then I can go and change this. So the next one here is around editing. So you can use Copilot in Word to edit documents um, and change text or improve things and uh, rewrite them. So um, to do that, I'm just going to get rid of this and so I could do this with this document I've got here okay this is a piece of generated text but what I'm going to do is go with this one so this is a more technical document it's a product spec for a tablet computer here so you can see here it's got loads of technical language and things like this but I've got this introduction document but I might not be happy with it so if I highlight the paragraph here then we've got a little copilot icon rewrite with copilot that comes up on the side and if I click that, it will now go through it and it will generate maybe two or three or more uh, different ways to write this. And then I can scan through these and see which ones I like. Okay, but if I'm not happy with any of them, then I can do regenerate and it will have another go at doing that. So now it's given me two here. So let's just go through and you can find the one you want. Now, if you wanted to change the tone, I can click this adjust tone and we've got professional, casual, imaginative, concise. So I'm gonna hit professional. I'm gonna just regenerate one more time. Okay, and again, this will, so this will give me three options here. So if I just go through the one that I want. Okay, I'm happy with this and I can click replace. And that's now replaced that straight in uh, my document there. Super easy, a uh, great way to rewrite um, rewrite some text if you're not particularly happy with it. Okay, so uh, what's next? So the next thing really is around catch up. So uh, especially if you've got like a, uh, if you've got a document that you've, that's very long um, and you wanna just find out a little bit more, find additional details. And we can do things like enhance our document or we can just summarize our document. And that, that kind of falls, for me, that falls across both of those last two sections there. Uh, but let's have a go with this one. So this is quite a, a complex technical document here. Um, loads of different information here. So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna uh, summarize this document. Okay, uh, and I'm gonna say in three paragraphs. 
we want it to be relatively short. So now what it's going to do is comb through this document. And because we're doing this in Word, in this document, it only uses information from this document in its response. It's not going anywhere else. Um, to, it's not looking at anything else like emails and team chats and things like this. So here we can see that it's uh, produced a short summary. So it's given me these auto props so I can say, oh, actually, let's make this summary a little bit longer. Okay, so it didn't quite stick them in paragraphs there, but um, it, it got the gist of what I was looking for. I wanted a, a short, a concise summary there. Uh, so now it's looking through, and again, this has got quite a lot of technical technical language and things like this. So it's uh, working through to make a longer summary. There we go. And you can just see here as well, it's got all of these different citations. You can see that you sort of just pop up a moment ago, and it tells you where in the document that, that, um, that link has come from. So that's how we could summarize it. But what I really like is how you can ask questions about the document. So this might have been put together by loads of people um, who were all at, um, experts in their own section, but Copilot is an expert on the whole document. So if I said, who is the target oops, audience for this product? It will go through and it will look to find the answer in here. So this is really useful um, for you know for these for these bigger documents where multiple people have put them together and no one person is really the expert. Okay, so according to the document, the target audience for Xanatab is people who want to use a tablet for personal and professional use, and then it's got that little citation. But now what we can do is we can use this to actually generate new content. Um, so if I said generate 10 taglines and a one minute elevator pitch based upon this content. So this is a little bit more of a complex prompt here because actually it's got two things. It's saying 10 taglines and an elevator pitch. But um, I'm confident that Copilot will be able to handle both of those and, uh, and pull that together there. So nearly done. And again, I'm not editing anything. There's no time here. This is live as it is. So here are my taglines. Um, and here is my elevator pitch. Um, so there you can see that that's uh, really, really useful there. Now, what I would say is, um, you know, if you haven't gone to this adoption site, definitely head over um, to that because um, it's a really, really, really useful resource. So hopefully that's shown you how we can use uh, Copilot in Microsoft Word. Um, now, if you go to that adoption site, you can see how you can use it across the other products such as PowerPoint or Excel or OneNote, uh, Loop, etc. But I will be doing that as well in other videos. So if you want to make sure that you find out about those, then hit that notification bell so you find out when new content comes. Uh, have a look at some of the other content that I've already produced, like the one on Teams meetings. Uh, have a look at that adoption site, get up to speed. Um, and hopefully if you've got Copal already, uh, you're having a great time. You'll find this really useful. And if you're looking to see whether you want to purchase Copilot, then hopefully this has uh, kind of pushed you uh, towards the right direction. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed the content and I'll see you again on another video.